Hello and welcome to another edition of the Wind Out Video Blogs. I am your host Ben Franco. Today we have finally another big ass bottle. Um, I hope some of you are excited. Uh, it's one of those cult classics that everybody loves. Uh, Cake Bread Cellars uh, 2011 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it does have, it's mostly Cabernet, 87% Cabernet, but they add a little bit, 7% Petit Verdot, 4% Cab Franc, 2% Petit Syrah, kind of to make it like a Bordeaux style variety. Um, does spend 18 months in French oak. So let's uh, give it a go. Uh, it's, it's been tough finding these uh, Magnums, so uh, it's when we get them. Um, you know, we do our little special price on them for a two ounce and five ounce pour. Uh, I only have one bottle this week, so make sure you come in. You know, hopefully, you like it or I like it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's take a look. Pour it a little bit. We'll let it get a little bit of air. Uh, really deep purple hue. Um, barely see your fingers through it. Really nice color. Let's give it a sniff and go. really deep cocoa coming through right away. A lot of, lot of chocolate, maybe like a hint of like tar. There's a little bit of like an olive aroma. And just a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of vanilla. You can just kind of barely pick it up. The the cocoa is kind of overpowering on the on the on the nose. The vanilla is starting to come through a little bit more as I'm kind of working with it and swirling. The vanilla is coming through nicely now. Really, really nice fruit. Didn't know what to expect. I've not had a lot of cake bread uh, stuff before, so some of some of the times, a lot of the some of the wines can be over the top. This is pretty restrained, actually, um, but in a good way. So the the fruit's really coming through really nicely. So on the nose, it's kind of crazy. It was like all cocoa, whatever, but kind of. And usually, like when you taste the wine, you reaffirm a lot of that when you taste it, but uh, on, the, on the palate, this is coming through like really blackberries, um, black currants. Um, you know that chocolate is there, but it's it's more kind of to the background. Whereas the the black fruits are coming coming alive and coming forward uh, in this in this wine. The tannins are right there mid level. They're not like super overpowering. Um, somewhat, you know, some of the times we do some of these these wines, and I'm like, you need food with some of these. But this one's actually you can. You can kind of drink this one on its own. Really, I'm enjoying the fruit on this one. Really, really nice fruit forward. The you know the oak is there. I think it said 47% new oak, but French French oak, so it's a little bit more restrained. And that vanilla flavor is coming through, but the the fruit on this wine is so is 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 fresh. It's vibrant. Uh, this is from 2011, so a really, really, really nice wine. Uh, we're going to be offering it uh, this week at a special price. Um, if you want it, I, I would hope you come in Tuesday um, because I'm sure we'll be out of it by late Wednesday, but you never know. All right, we'll see you next time on the Wine Down Video.